Hey, it's Monica from Reviews by MH. So one thing about me is I actually travel a lot for work and for pleasure. And the one thing I hear from people all the time is, how do you stick to such a strict diet when you're traveling? So I put together a list of items that I find that really help me out while traveling. And I think regardless of what diet you're doing, these tips should apply to you as well. So the first is you need to prepare and plan your food. So like you would meal prep uh, for the week, you wanna do the same when you're traveling. So know how many days you're going for, know how much food you need with you, and make sure you're bringing food that is both satisfying and filling. So uh, personally, I like to bring um, two types of bars. I like to bring the coconut bars and the chocolate um, cookie dough. I like to bring uh, the vanilla crispy square. I find that these are great for my breakfast. I uh, always bring wafers, regardless of which flavors. I find that these make the perfect dessert um, after any meal, especially at a restaurant. And then I bring the Gerardos. I find that it's very filling and crunchy. And the South Cheese um, Curls. Really yummy as well. And I, um, I find these to be very filling. So the one thing about the ideal protein food is because I know I need to have them with me. I like to keep them on my carry-on. The last thing I want is my luggage to go missing and then I have no food um, and then I'm scrambling. So always bring enough food and keep them in close reach. The other thing with respect to food is know which restaurants you're going to. So I do a lot of work travel. I always know what tra uh, restaurants I'm going to, meeting clients, uh, meeting um, colleagues. And the one thing is know which restaurant you're going to, look at the menu in advance and make sure you know what you're ordering before you get there. So that way you can enjoy the conversation and not have to stress about what you're going to order. There's always an option for you at any restaurant you go to. Get a salad with protein, ask for dressing on the side, or just get your protein, so whether it's a piece of salmon or beef and some steamed vegetables on the side. I always ask for no dressing and to keep the seasoning on the side and that way I can just put whatever I want on it. The other thing uh, that really works for me and this worked with me when I was uh, in Europe is don't be afraid to go to the supermarket and grab some veggies so um, so that you can snack on them during the day. So whether it's the second day you're there or the first day, just do a quick supermarket run, get some um, vegetables that you like to snack on. So my go-to is cucumber and um, tomatoes actually, and uh, or peppers. So I like to keep those three with me handy. So if you get hungry, you can always resort to those vegetables. The second big tip I have is you need to drink a lot of water. So I'm a huge uh, fan of using uh, water enhancers, so different flavors that just makes it easier for me to drink water. And the big thing that I always bring with me too when I'm traveling is this amino acid. Um, so it's the ideal protein fruit punch flavor. I find them great. You're doing a lot of walking, so why not use that amino acid to make sure you're not losing any muscles and it tastes great. So um, get a two, one liter water bottle, make sure you're drinking two of those a day, shake up one of your um, amino acids in there, or even use water enhancers to make sure you're getting in all your water. So you're doing a lot more walking, so it's important to make sure you're, you're staying hydrated. Uh, tip number three is be transparent with the people you are traveling with. Don't be afraid to tell them that you're on this diet. I find that when you tell people, they're way more supportive. They're not going to offer you a drink. They're not going to offer you uh, or suggest going and grabbing ice cream if they know that you're committed to this and you're actually serious about this. So I'm always very honest with the people I'm traveling with. Um, I don't always explain it in full, but it's enough to know that um, I'm not going to indulge in, in sweets and carbs and that type of stuff. So don't be shy to share that with people. Um, another thing that I found really works is find, uh, find ways to treat yourself that is not related to food. So just treat yourself. So if you're going to an all-inclusive, go to the beach and take a nap under the sun or read a book or treat yourself to a massage or a pedicure or, um, or, or go on a walk. 
Uh, if you're in Europe or doing something else, find find something that you don't normally do. So go shopping, buy a new outfit. Do things that doesn't involve food. You're on vacation. Don't let the vacation be all about the food you want to eat. Um, rather, the activities and the things you want to try. And this kind of leads into my last tip, which is you need to change your mindset about what you're going on vacation for. You're not going on vacation to eat. And the reality is a lot of buffet foods, especially at conferences, are not even that great. So really focus on being there, living in the moment, enjoying what you're doing, um, taking in new scenes, going on walks, exploring the city you're in. Don't trap yourself in the hotel. Um, really... Uh, find ways to embrace uh, this diet and and challenge yourself in ways that you wouldn't normally so whether it's taking um, Challenging yourself and seeing how many steps you can take in a day or uh, doing an activity that's physical that you wouldn't normally do um, You'll be surprised what your body can do and how much you'll actually enjoy things that you maybe may have not thought you would have enjoyed so I think those are the big five tips that I always use while traveling and I think these are great regardless of what diet you're doing. And if you have any other tips, feel free to share them and we can keep the discussion going.